Um, I just wanted to outline a few sort of facts around why I'm doing this ankles project and got some key cards to help me keep me on track. Um, it's not that many of them, so I'll just quickly outline you know, where, where, where it's at and what what what. I just wanted to outline a few points as to why I'm doing the ankles project and what it means to me. Um, I've got some cue cards to keep me on track. I've got a couple of uh, a number of little extra bits um, just to sort of outline. I'll be able to inject these digitally um, as I go along in, in the video edit itself. Okay then, um, I'm doing this ankles project mainly because you know it was where my dad is from and he passed away at the back end of Covid that it wasn't Covid related. Um, so I've had a strong link to the area. I used to live there as a child, um, but I moved away. But my dad maintained his link to the area and I still have a lot of family on my father's side that still live in the Ancoats area. Um, so it was an easy draw um, to kind of, you know, to, to get into. Um, so what I started out was by doing an, an initial virtual walk using Google Maps. And what I did was I, I literally followed this route it's all pinned up. I followed this route uh, using the, uh, Google Maps to retrace a route I used to do to, um, to go and see me dad on a Saturday. Sometimes I'd new beauty in one of the pubs around Ankles. Um, I would go and visit most of these pubs along the route. Um, if he wasn't there, I'd, I'd reroute my way back along the same route um, to see him. Um, and this is what I used to do as a, as a you know, as a, in my, certainly in my early teens, um, to go and see him on a Saturday if I'd not seen him for a while. Um, so that was something I used to do, um, and that that was how this this project kind of took off. It was just for me to re-familiarise myself with with the area, especially now it's had a lot of the development done, um, and it was a good way to start the ball rolling and thinking about potentially the things that might catch my eye. On that route, something that did catch my eye um, that I've been back to on a number of occasions now was this which I'll flash up. Um, and Coach Works is next to Hope Mill. Um, it, it just naturally catches my eye, this place. I think it's quite integral to the old Ancoats as I know it. Now, I kind of see there being an old Ancoats and a new Ancoats. Um, so, by that, what I mean is, on this map, this little inner bit kind of represents what Google Maps says. Ancoats is. But for me, Ancoats is more than that. It's pretty much all this area here. Um, and I kind of call it like notional Ancoats and Ancoats or Ancoats it's known to the local people. Um, so a lot of it was about, you know, this early stage has been about familiarization, familiarization for myself of the area again. Um, you know, looking at what has gone, looking at what's that now there, looking at what still remains. Um, you know, I was really dialing into this whole piece of old versus new and, you know, what is there against what used to be there. Um, a lot of my research at this stage has been with the uh, English Heritage uh, document called the uh, Ancoats Cradle of Industrialization, which has been quite interesting and really shows the history of the area. Um, then I started getting into doing actual ground walks and in my first walk, I call it the ghost walk, again I was really dialing into this kind of new versus old that was going on. Um, and it was mainly uh, filming and photography uh, which included a piece to camera. Um, I kind of felt I was, I was led by you know, ghosts of the past um, you know, and, and where my memories were taking me and it, in, in essence it was a visual survey but I felt I was being led by my own feet and my subconscious uh, it was sort of guiding me around, you know, old ankles as I remember it. Um, and I followed on more to the pattern from my virtual walk um, to keep me on track. But again, I, I really felt I was dialing directly into this kind of old versus new piece. Um, because of me getting stuck on this old versus new, I, I realised that, um, you know, I found at this point it became a bit of a sticking point that it was such a large pro project, it was such a large thing to be getting into, so, so many different things at stake with this in terms of regeneration, 
gentrification, you know, and everything that encompasses in that, you know. So ultimately, I needed to kind of dial into the project a little more with a, a sense of, you know, what is the legacy of this project? Uh, who is the audience for this project? And then how do I reach the demographic that I want to reach? Um, and there was lots of sub factors, like I said, in there, gentrification, community, displaced people, you know, alienating the locals, regeneration. There was a lot there. So I needed to dial it down. So what I did was I made a mind map of, of my current thoughts, ideas, realizing that the project is big and could actually be in multiple parts. So based on that, I created this mind map where I, I dialed into all these different areas that I was thinking of and I came up with four definitive phases um, using process-based thinking based on critical logic. You know, this is where I've come to the following. Um, phase one is going to be the changing face of ankles and this is where this whole project has come about from which in essence is a visual survey looking at the continued regeneration of ankles and where it is now um, this part of the project will be predominantly stills and video uh, uh, with some audio if I can get the interviews done in time um, if not that will go into the next phase um, From this capture list, I've done a. I, I made a sorry. I made a capture list uh, for the changing phase of ankles, and at the time of writing, and basically what I came about was you know Google Maps recce, an initial walk, scene setting, a film walk, which I'd go back with you know film cameras, um, the walk of changing face, which is going to be video and time lapse, which I did. Um, Stills and B-roll based on video, you know, the changing face of uh, Ancoats. Uh, aerial imagery and hopefully trying to get inside a mill. I kind of pretty much managed everything but interviews at this stage. For the other phase and what's coming next is the next bit, the next part of the project is going to be switching from changing face of Ancoats to 12 strangers. Which is more of a visual ethnography and looking at the people who live in Ancox nowadays, from the older people, from the older generation, and from the new people who have now made it their home. Um, from this group of people, um, I'd like to then set up a project, a socially engaged project, to highlight the local area developments and, and seeing how the people of Ancox now view it, both old and new, uh, and what are their influences, uh, and trying to maybe use so photography within socially engaged um, practices to bring these groups together which is obviously quite a you know a big a big thing to aim for uh, and then the, the final phase will be the last pub in Ancoats and it'll be a study of the Bradford pub um, which I kind of see as being the last pub in Ancoats and this is then the final link to my dad uh, and you know hopefully I'll culminate the whole process with a big display of everything at, at the Bradford um, and going back to my question that I asked myself was, you know, what is the legacy? You know, my dad passed away. And this project now feels that I'm reconnecting with the area in lieu of being able to reconnect with him. Um, I'm also developing my own practice as I go through this and, and how I want to do photography in the future, you know, in terms of my own photography and my own work. Um, And I like to think that even if all I manage to accomplish is a small display in the Bradford, I think that will still be enough for me because I think on the back of that, my dad would have been quite proud. And then off the back of everything, the, this working model I think could be used then to bring into other areas of Manchester. I also lived in Colliers, Moston, Blakely, all areas now also signs of this kind of similar development, especially Colliers because it's so close to Ancoats and on these main arterial routes into the city centre. Um, yeah, I think um, I think that's where it potentially could go. That's what the Ancoats project is all about. <laughs>